So MCK's Trust Fund has been helping in various areas, just to give you an idea. So we've uh, worked with bringing people um, grains in Orissa. We've had uh, grain banks, so they have enough seeds to continue with their regular agricultural work and get good harvests. And then they're supposed to bring part of that and bring it back to the bank. That's how they, they invest it so someone else could use it. Uh, we've uh, provided uh, drinking water. So either we've dug uh, the uh, bore wells in different parts of that town or village and also provided our water for other places where the water is actually uh, saturated with other chemicals which are not good for them. So purification of the water, even if water is available. We've also gone out uh, to help, for example, these little children in the Northeast whose parents were killed and they did not have a home to go to and they were brought to Delhi. So in the Northeast, there are a lot of little children who go into the sex trade. Uh, they were actually rescued and brought back and then taking care of them. Uh, there are other institutions which deal with uh, young kids who, young girls actually, who are um, sexually molested uh, or even raped and they become pregnant. So how do you take care of them, right? Right through their uh, entire process from the legal uh, where they're trying to get them the rights so that they could abort or whatever is required. So we have organizations that take care of young children uh, we have institutions that take care of um, elderly, right? Those that are abandoned by uh, family members. Uh, we have those uh, who have homes, little kids who have homes, but parents do not have the facility to take care of them or educate them. So they brought into towns. They stay during uh, the school uh, days and during holidays go back home. So we take care of them as well. And so um, there's, there's a wide variety of those Along with this, uh, we have helped with hospitals to build uh, wings uh, to, to house more patients and to take care of them. We work with hospice uh, where a lot of these cancer patients, especially when they're terminal, family do not uh, sometimes have means to even take care of them. And towards the end, uh, they do still need help. I mean, they're going through so much pain. So we actually uh, provide medication and provide even the transport for uh, the medical uh, fraternity to, to help them go to their homes and take care of their needs, even if it's the last few days.